So I'm gonna call this little African girl hair story. Child, I don't know about any other female or anybody else, period. I don't feel right when my hair is not right, when it's not done. But let me tell you this story. So if you follow me on, on IG or Twitter, um, I had a guy's like hairstyle. And I'm gonna tell you how the story behind that right quick. So basically a few months ago back, um... I wanted, um, got his locks and I got them, of course, but, um, I found this girl and she did really good goddess locks, like, y'all, she did really good goddess locks. So, you know, here, uh, back and forth, texting with her, and her price was pretty right, so I'm like, right, good. So, damn, you know, um, basically, me, like, my mom really wasn't for it, whatever, like, me and her got an argument about it, and I don't know, it's just, like, sometimes, like, my mom be trying to control, like, me about, like, my hair and stuff like that. Like, that be blowing me, but it's, like, whatever. But I think it's, in a sense, it's, like, I, I, I think it's, like, when you're not, like, when you're still living at home or something like that, like, when you're 18 or 19 or anymore, just when you're around that age and you're still living at home, like, I think parents still kind of have that parental grip on you in a sense if you uh, if you care like i'm saying because i couldn't wear fake hair like until like i was a senior high school like i was not allowed to have weeks or nothing like that until i was like a senior like my first week was like prom like i didn't have braids in my hair till like 11th grade 11th 12th because i wasn't allowed to have that until i got older um Basically, so, like, backstory to that. And also, because when I get fake hair and weeds, all that stuff, girl, I, I be pressed. Like, I be pressed. Because, like, like, I could never have it. I don't really like my natural hair like that, for real. I mean, it's long, but y'all will never know. <laughs> anyway, so, let me tell you the story right, right, right quick. So, basically, yeah, I want to got locks or whatever. And I found a girl who can do them real good. But, like, my mom really wasn't for it. She, me and her got to a little altercation with that bird. Me and her was arguing. So, then she goes in her room, right, y'all. Goes on her laptop. Doo -doo -doo. And then she literally finds this random place up the street from my house. And me, I'm blown because it's like, I really had my heart set on this girl. And it's like, I don't know nothing about, like, this African place. Like, I, I, I don't know they work. And I, I think I've seen, like, they had, like, three pictures, whatever, online. I just didn't like, you know what I'm saying? And y'all, like, ladies, y'all know, like, when you go to them Africans, like, they be breaking your neck and... You know what I'm saying? Like, they be yanking your neck when, you when like, they be braiding and, and like, your scalp be tight. Like, ladies, y'all know. Y'all know. Don't think. Like, I don't know. So then, you know, my, I, I'm like, you know what? Let me just go to, like, like this place. <sighs> y'all, I was so sad. Blown. So then, next day, I go to a little African place, whatever, with, like, my hair, you know. And um, before I went, I called, like, the night before. I, I think I made an appointment. I feel like I did. So I um, went the next day, whatever. My sister dropped me off. After my sister dropped me off at the place, I walked in. It was like a house, like a big basement. And so when I went down there, I signed my name on a little log, whatever. And it was like a little girl down there getting her hair done. It was like, uh, she was cute. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was cute. She was cute hairstyle. So, you know, I'm waiting like a good 5, 10, 15 minutes. And then so an old lady walked down the stairs and she's like, you know, like, what are you here for? Like, you know, what's the situation? And I told her, um, I guess she was the lady like I spoke to on the phone. I think so. But, um, I told her I want a goddess locks. And y'all, I don't know if some, some of y'all know what goddess, goddess locks is. I'm going to probably put a picture of me having goddess locks at like the end of like the video. So, like, you know how, like, what it looks like. But goddess locks is just dreads with, like, the little wavy hair at the end. And when you're getting goddess locks, you need to get two types of hairs. And so, um, she was telling me how I was missing, like, the, the uh, the second piece of the hair, whatever, that makes the, uh, dreadlock wavy at the ends and y'all i'm blown because it's not like i have a car that i can just drive like you know what i'm saying like i got my license but i, I, I got no whip so um when she's telling me that i'm just like really like really so luckily i'm across the street from a town center so i go across the street and she tells me go in the beat supply store they have it so you know it's gonna be like you know going to the little store Ooh. And I leave my hair that I brought, whatever. So, um, 
I go in the be I go in the beast by story and um basically I was explaining to the woman in the store what I'm looking for, what it's for, whatever, so she can you know, so so she can like God be like where to go, like, okay, this is this, you know what I'm saying? So, um then she's pointing to tracks and I'm like I don't think that's what I need. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's the part. Like, I'm not. And so, um, that wasn't really even a real beast of my store, to be honest. It really wasn't because, like, y'all, when I walked up in there, it was nothing but gray wigs. Like, I was just like, this ain't a real person. What's going on, sis? But anyway, and then, like, Everybody know, but like you know, you go into any type of store, right? And you have those pressed employees that be pressed for you to buy something, and you're just like, oh uh, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, I might come back, like, like you say, like stuff like that. But whole tea, like in like your head, like you're like, no, I'm not going back here, like no, I'm not buying nothing. Stop pressing me out. That's how I was. So, um, so that's me. Oh, so um, I'm just like, you know, I'll come back. I look later. So, but I'm on the way leaving, right? And so the lady, um, the, the lady, the foreign lady who was in charge of the visa buy store who was there, who, who I was talking to, um, so she gets, so she takes this white paper. I don't know where it came from. She grabbed like this, this white, mm, white paper. Excuse me for like my stutter, and then she um shows it to me. She's like, "What does this mean?" And I'm confused because it's like, no shade, no tea, but I'm not nobody's counselor. I'm not nobody's um, money manager. I'm not no one's uh, financer or whatever. Like, and because y'all, it's talking, girl, like y'all, it had like her bill information. It was a full bill saying when was it due, just all this information, have her name. I'm just like, I don't know you like that. Like, I'm a stranger to you. I don't think you should be showing me this. Like, I don't think you should be showing me this. Because people is crazy. I'm not crazy, but I just feel like I felt uncomfortable. Like, sis, this, like, no, like, you need to know. Like, no, sis, no. So... I try. I mean, I helped her, of course. I just felt uncomfortable because it's like you don't really know me, like, like. So after um I left the store and I'm calling like my brother. I'm like, man, like, bro, like, I'm so pissed. I'm like, I'm telling him the whole story, bro. And so then I call my sister. I'm like, man, can you can you come get me like right quick? And so I um y'all. So my sister's like outside. Yo, I run in the African house, uh, and I and I lied to them. I was like, like, son came up, I'm sorry. Like, they kept trying to talk to me, kept trying to keep me. Like, they kept trying to, um, kept trying to, like, make me stay. Like, and kept saying, oh, I'll take you to the store. Like, no, no, I don't want that. No. Like, if I have to go out of my way, out of my way, especially when I don't have a car right now, and you're not giving me the proper information, you lost my service. No shade, no tea. I wasn't upset. I'm just over it. Like, I'm tired. I came here early to get my hair done. Instead, I was on a door like the Explore Kim Impossible, whatever, mission just to get some type of hair. So I was blown and I left and my sister skirted off skirt, skirt. and then I went to this other girl that I found. She's real good. Mm -hmm. Psych. 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 I mean, what she did my hair was good, but the quality wasn't good because literally like less than a week, a week, around two weeks, the things started falling apart. And you know what's funny? Like, so... I was uh, wrapping the hair around, whatever, and I and and, and, and uh, excuse me, and people were still saying it was cute. That was like, thank you, did it myself, sis. Uh. Anyway, so and the girl who did my goddess box, y'all, she really blew me. Side note, though, like she really blew me because she uh. So, y'all, I'm telling, I'm telling her like, you know what? I might even get into it because I. Um, like, I'm pretty sure I told y'all in, like, that video that I'm gonna post later. But, yeah, that's pretty much the little story with that burn stuff. Lesson learned is I'm not going to know more Africans. Because <laughs> I'm not going to know more Africans to get my hair done, like, to get braids. 
like I got the connect like the connect I know who who does what now like seriously but that's the story and that's pretty much it and that's pretty much what happened so bye guys <laughs>